Have you ever wondered what the proportional ratio is in the human bones or in the spiral of galaxies or in the pattern of seeds in a sunflower? All of these share a fascinating common ratio that is 1 is to 1.618 known as golden ratio. In this video we'll explore golden ratio in art and the hidden formula for beautiful paintings and we also can use the same formula in our own paintings so let's get started welcome back to fine art diary painting nature we are exploring golden ratio This mathematical proportion has been observed in nature, architecture and even in art. It's often represented by a special rectangle. If this side is 1, then this side will be 1.618. That's a golden rectangle. Another common way to visualize it is through the golden spiral, which is derived from a series of golden rectangles placed together. The golden ratio originates from the Fibonacci series, a sequence where each number is the sum of the two before it. For example, in this series, one plus two is equal to three, two plus three is equal to five, three plus five is equal to eight, five plus eight is equal to thirteen, eight plus thirteen is equal to twenty-one, thirteen plus twenty-one is equal to thirty-four, and so on. Similarly, if we divide any of the numbers with the previous number. For example, 55 divided by 34, the answer will be 1.6. 34 divided by 21, 1.6. 21 divided by 13, 1.6. As the numbers progress, the ratio between consecutive numbers approaches 1.618, the golden ratio. Now let's draw a golden rectangle and a golden spiral. Here I am drawing a rectangle. Suppose. If this edge is 21 cm then according to the series to be a golden rectangle this edge has to be 13 cm now in this line if i break it here at 13 cm and draw a line over here that means this line also will be 13 cm and it is a perfect square and according to the series the remaining line is 8 cm now this also became a golden rectangle Now this 13 cm line if i am breaking in 8 cm and give a line then this also will become a perfect square and this rectangle will also become a golden rectangle exactly the same way i will break it three more steps so inside each golden rectangle there will be a perfect square and another golden rectangle now let's draw the spiral If we put a compass over here at this point and draw a curve from this point to this point by doing this for all the square shapes we are going to get the final result as golden spiral let's check how it will be So this is how we draw the golden spiral so while arranging the elements in a painting we can arrange in this direction like a golden spiral and this is going to be the focal point of the composition and when we use the same principle in our art the result often feels naturally balanced harmonious and pleasing to the eye let's see some famous examples to understand how it can be used in a painting this famous painting girl with a pearl earring by johannes vermeer aligns beautifully with a golden spiral this painting annunciation by leonardo da vinci and verrocchio is a very good example of golden ratio you can see the painting is perfectly divided in the ratio 1 is to 1.618 horizontally the leading line of this painting is also a golden spiral the line starts here through the angel gabriel it is going towards the virgin mary similarly the leading line towards the angel is also a golden spiral most interestingly not only horizontally but also vertically the frame is divided in golden ratio the upper part 
is 1 and the lower bottom part is 1.618. If you see the width of these trees, it is also arranged in the same golden ratio. Here at the right hand side, the width versus depth is 1 is to 1.61. Here in Virgin Mary's character, the upper part till the belt is 1 and the bottom part is 1.61. And you can see both the arms are dividing the frame exactly at golden ratio. What about this area? You can see pedestal is 1 and the flow visible is 1.61 is a golden ratio. There is no wonder that the painting is interesting. It also shows a deliberate use of the golden ratio in its composition again and again. And in the great wave of Kanagawa by Hokusai, you can clearly see the spiral structure in the waveform. So, by arranging the elements of your artwork using the golden rectangle or spiral or even the golden triangle sometimes, we can create compositions that are both beautiful and timeless. So, golden ratio can be one of the best composition tool. Alright, so this was the first category of the composition rule. Don't forget to subscribe the channel because many more composition techniques are coming in future. Thank you so much for watching.